Welcome to Royal Family Chronicles, your exclusive gateway to the majestic world of regal tales, where history, heritage, and elegance converge in a captivating journey through the annals of royalty. Princess Anne is set to embark on an official visit to Sri Lanka next week at the behest of the Foreign Office, commemorating 75 years of diplomatic ties between the UK and the island. Known for her discreet yet influential role in the scaled-down working royal family, the Princess Royal has been a steady and trusted presence during the transition from the Elizabethan era to the New Caroline one. Often hailed as Charles's right-hand woman, she serves as an intimate and reliable source of counsel, support, and guidance. If you enjoy captivating royal stories, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Royal Family Chronicles channel for more intriguing content. Accompanied by her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, Princess Anne's tour to the Indian Ocean Island marks the first overseas trip for the royal family in 2024. Meanwhile, the King and Queen are scheduled to visit Canada in May and Australia, New Zealand, and Samoa in October. The Prince and Princess of Wales have no official tours planned but are anticipated to visit Italy this spring. During her visit to Sri Lanka from January 10 to January 12, Princess Anne will engage with local communities and meet faith leaders in Colombo, Kandy, and Jaffna. Key meetings include a discussion with Sri Lankan President Ranil Wickremesinghe, who assumed office after his predecessor fled the country amid mass protests in 2022 following economic turmoil. Sri Lanka has faced significant challenges in recent years, including the worst economic crisis since gaining independence in 1948, the 2019 Easter bombings orchestrated by IS, the impact of COVID-19, and mass protests in 2022. Princess Anne, who previously visited the country in 1995 as the patron of Save the Children, remains a well-regarded figure in the evolving monarchy. Her influence was highlighted in the BBC's documentary, Charles E. The Coronation Year, where she greeted her older brother with affectionate words. Princess Anne played a crucial role at Charles's coronation as gold stick in waiting, solidifying her position as a core ally during his reign. Despite her discreet nature, she has not been devoid of glamorous moments, such as her striking appearance at the state banquet for South Korea. In the documentary, Princess Anne expressed her relief at the transfer of monarchic responsibility from her mother to Charles, emphasizing her eagerness for his success. While Charles bears the outward responsibility, Anne continues to play a vital behind-the-scenes role, contributing more than her fair share to the work of the royal family.